So in this wave, there's 30 hostiles, but that's not your really biggest problem. Your biggest problem is drones, because drones, I mean, you could have 20 drones search in the area along with your 30 hostiles, and there's never going to be 30 guys in the field at the same time. You know, mostly there's going to be 5 or 10 that are searching you, and then as soon as you get down to eliminating those 5 or 10, more will come out of the doors to come after you. So, and we have dogs in addition to that. So, lovely dogs, drones, and uh, so my basic thing with drones is uh, drone operators is you take out the drone operators as soon as possible because you do not want to deal with drones. Drones are going to make your life miserable. You can't walk around anywhere with drones searching the place. Sometimes there'll be more than one drone operator operating at the same time, but often there'll be one drone operator and then when he goes down they'll put another drone operator and then when they go down they'll put another drone operator. Because it only takes one drone operator. Now, the drone operators are going to hide in areas that are hard to get to in general. And there's only going to be a certain number of locations in any one map that they hide in. So, if you know where they are, you can use your tri-rotor to go searching for them. This is the perfect spot to take dogs out. You know, dogs will come once they know where you're at. They'll just continue to come there, and because they can't get you when you're up top, um, they can't jump high enough, and you can just keep shooting them until they're all dead. Of course, the sticky cam does great at uh, doing recognizance, so um, you can find out approximately how many people are around and where they're at. So we notice there's a couple guys upstairs there looking for me, but there's nobody downstairs. And then a lot of times, as soon as you drop down from there, more guys will spawn because the game just really doesn't like to let you get away with anything. And, of course, if you're up here and you're taking guys out and there's any gunfire or explosions, you're going to have a bunch of guys coming. So I'm trying to um, be sneaky and take these guys out without them seeing me and without any gunfire, and I got both of them. And if I hadn't immediately got back up, even though no gunfire or anything happened, immediately a couple more guys show up. In this case, it's uh, two guys on patrol. Okay, with the remote camera, you get to surveil the area so you can see if there's guards around. And if you hit one button, you get gas released, so you're doing the sneaky takeout, and then if you hit another button, it explodes, and you do a secondary takeout. And you can attract them with a little noise. So you'll notice that even though this is a drone wave, that there aren't any drones around because we've taken out three drone operators so far. So that leaves me fairly free to wander around without drones searching.
Now we see that there's another drone operator in operation because there's drones showing up. So we'll have to go look for him and see if we can't eliminate him. If there's um, very few enemies around to shoot your tri-rotor, that's the best time to go looking for a drone operator because you don't want to lose your tri-rotor. If I'm going to launch the tri-rotor or use the sticky cam, I'll go back in this corner because I don't want to be seen and shot if I'm out in an area where somebody on the ground could see me and shoot me. The noise will only attract them if they're like five, seven feet away, and once they're attracted, you can hit them with the gas, and then you can, hopefully, you can still use the camera, but you can also hit them with an explosive after that. So I got the combat kill there, you see. Also, if you don't hit them with the gas or the combat kill, oftentimes they'll shoot the sticky cam, and then it's useless for you. Those soldiers showed up because of the explosion of the sticky cam. So even though they're quite a ways away, they're tossing a grenade over. And what a perfect shot. Luckily, I avoided it. Now I'm not paying attention to the red dot to the left. You know, this is where I need to take care of this guy because I'm going to get killed by him if I'm not careful. So there's only four guys left. And, um, after I take out the drones down below, usually with a large explosion, they come running. But since there's nobody coming and running, then you got to assume that some of them don't come and run because they're drone operators. <laughs> the other ones are hiding. So now we're going to use the tri-rotor to see if we can't go and see what's going on and find the other um, players. That red um, eyebrow there is because the drones on the floor can see my tri-rotor. And you have to be careful because the drone operators know that you have a tri-rotor out looking for them. And so oftentimes if they, they, they get a sense that you're looking for him, see like this guy over there, he's aware that he's being looked for.
So this guy's down on the floor over there. He's as soon as we get near him, he starts to run away, and he'll try to shoot the drone. And I got lucky. I got a shot on him. This other guy is probably hiding in the in the uh, hallway behind this wall. So I'm out of range. I can't get over to him. So that's not going to work for me. As long as he has drones running around on the floor, those drones can blow me up if they see me and follow me. So there's none near me. If there were drones below me, I would use the EMP chaff on the to um, knock them out before I go running off. Now from here, I'm protected. The drones can't blow me up because I'm up on the wall. So now that I've moved over, hopefully I'll be closer and I won't be out of range with my tri-rotor. The drone operators make life hell, so naturally the only way that's easy to deal with them is to use the tri-rotor. And once you get close enough to them, that you get four shots and that's it. So guard your use of the tri-rotor 